Hello, my name is Kainsan Mononye. I'm the software engineer, and this is number three in the series of videos discussing entity framework with MVC. And today we are going to look at how to update a record. In my previous video, we discussed how to uh, display a record that is in the first video, and we also looked at in the second one how to add or insert a record into a table in the database. So in this very video, it's going to be practical. We are going to discuss how to display a record for editing. We make changes in this record and then update it to save those changes back into the database. All right, so we are going to start from where we stopped. I'm going to open the, the solution we are working with. I think we call it uh, EFCF related, okay? That is the solution. So we are going to run it so that will be up to speed from where we stopped in the previous video. So if I go ahead to run it, if I go ahead to run it, let me close all these tabs in this place here. Okay, we click on the relative link, it displays the list of relatives there. Okay, uh, the list you see, these are my siblings. So we have already discussed how to create a new record. Maybe we just click to make sure it's working. So just click on this link here, create new. And then I'm going to add a new record. Let me add, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Kids he has four kids so if I cre click on create you see the last record we added right there but now what happens if I click on the edit link nothing happens it takes us to nowhere so let's discuss and then demonstrate how to add the edit functionality to this project so again we open our controller for now we've had just one controller Take note that we, when we wrote the function to add a record, we had two action results, two functions. The first one is a HTTP GET, a, uses a HTTP GET method to display an empty view, uh, a model with empty view that is a text field, but they are blank. We also have the second method with the same name, create. And it's a HTTP uh, post method, but this time it grabs what has been entered into the test field and saved it, saves it right back into the database. So now we are going to create another method and it's going to be a get method. This time this first method is going to get the record that we want to display. We want to get it and then we displayed so it's going to be a get so that's the first step so we public action result action result edits that is the name so so we are going to pass uh, an ID to it int ID right good so now I'm going to find the the record having this ID and then display. So what I'm going to do is to say return view. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to pass in I'm going to find the particular record with this ID. So what I'm going to do is I'll say uh, family, sorry, context. So the data we get it from the context dot members uh, dot relative. Sorry, uh, dot dot find dot find, and just give it the ID, and that is just fine. So that is what we are going to return. So if I go ahead to run this thing now, uh, okay, there are errors. Okay, uh, wrong 
closing braces somewhere. It's not there. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, we go ahead to run it on Google Chrome and we expect to see displayed there the uh, form with a particular record selected. Okay, let's see the list edits. Oh, okay, so now what is the problem? I think you can guess. We've not added a view to handle the edits function. So just go ahead to right click there and just say add view is going to be edits. Template is going to be edits. The model class is the same model class we work with and then the same context. So that's just fine. And then save and then we run it again. So if we are fortunate we'll be able to see displayed. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to the home first. Okay, so now if I click on edit, it displays the particular record. So we have the save button given to us here. Okay, so let's just make sure that it's displaying the right record. So this Osando Monoye, if I click on edit, that is it. So what happens if I change the city to something else and say save? nothing happens right and you know why we've not added the function to handle the the actual update of the database so that is what we are going to add we go back to our controller and then it's going to be a post method remember this time we are going to make changes in the database by saving the update so public action result action results okay now now we are going to pass in an, a, a model type of relative right because now the 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 framework understands that we already have a particular record we are working with so it's going to be relative relative right so we create it and then we go ahead to now always check the model states each time you either edit or uh, check if the model state is valid so you say if model state dot is valid if it's valid else if it's not valid just go right back to the list so just say just hold it okay so just say return uh, redirect to action index go back home that's if it's not valid just throw back the user to the list without making any update but if it's valid what we are going to do is to use some methods that uh, are provided in entity framework so what we are going to do is say context dot n3 uh, okay then you pass the entry or you pass parameter as parameter to this entry method this relative that has been defined here so so it's more like the name of the the objects that will be used to handle the the, the the updates okay so um so 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 what what you do you check the states by by saying dot state equal to entity states dot 
dots modified okay so here just right click and resolve it to add in the namespace using system dot data dot entity using data dot uh, system dot data dot entity either way I actually don't like inlining the, the namespace so I'll just undo go ahead to okay I can click the little okay so using that is what I want to do so after now okay we'll get back to that so what we are going to do we save the changes context does save changes and then we redirect back to the list return redirect to action index okay so close now this action result has to be edit okay hope everything is going to be fine so I'm going to save and let's go ahead to test this so if everything goes well be able to see the list be able to click on one of them or be able to make updates and then save back to the database alright so this is our list that we've had before so let me take my kid sister this my favorite sibling okay I edit now I'm going to change the, the kids to one right it was zero before I'm changing to one so let's save and see so there you can see saffron in Malade, Lagos kids one so let's go ahead to change the city to something else how about saying okay so we've changed to something very glaring California alright so this is how to edit record and make uh, up updates using enti um, entity framework with MVC and ASP.NET. I hope this video has, has been informative for you. Please leave your comments below. Tell me what other video you want me to make. And you can also subscribe to my channel. I'll be making now uh, more tutorials on uh, application development generally. And I'd like to thank you once again for viewing. So let's don't forget to check back. The last video I'm going to make on this series is going to be how to delete a record because delete and, and also display the details right now displaying details gives nothing and delete gives nothing so check back for my next video thank you very much